it is the food of celebration, but cakes can cost a lot of money. During the pandemic, a St. Louis Park woman began using her love of baking to help others tackle tough times. Sheila Reeves introduces us to the Cake Crusader. It's cold in Minnesota. So let's just give that a little blast for 10 seconds. Allison Smith knows her way around the kitchen. This is going to be tenuous and perilous on this plate. She's been baking for years. In England, we call this caster sugar. A passion still keeping her busy in her St. Louis Park home. This is my trusty Cake Crusader recipe book. As you can tell, it's seen some wars, right? But it has all of the good stuff in it. So that's better. That's nice and nice and squishy. Now Allison is sharing a little bit of home sweet home to heal. My answer to pretty much everything is to bake a cake. And this is the chocolate cake recipe. She's warming hearts. 6.7 of this. I wanted to find out how. And over just 2020, you did 100 cakes. I did 100 cakes for love. Yeah. And we're just trying to get all the lumps out that might be there. 100 cakes rolled out of this kitchen. Get this doing its thing again. Baked by Allison for free. A little bit of flour. Many going to strangers. The first to neighbors. My lovely neighbors uh, next door, Sarah and Peyton, were going to get married. And um, all of a sudden, they realized that they were going to have to cancel their wedding because of the pandemic. So uh, they were so sad. And uh, I saw them over the garden fence, as you do. And I thought, oh, I want to do something to, you know, kind of cheer them up. Into the oven. And so I made them a, a Guinness chocolate cake with uh, whiskey frosting. And uh, that was the start of the Cake Crusader. The butter is going in. With a few social media posts, the Cake Crusader took off. And I just said to my friends, do you have anybody that you know who's going through a hard time, right? And if you do, let me know who they are and we'll, uh, we'll bake a delicious cake for them. Friends donated supplies. Allison what? donated her talents and time. You need a lot of icing to make a a cake for love. It needs to be covered in layers and layers of deliciousness. It needs to be extra sweet. Extra, extra sweet. There's a, there's a quote in, I think it's Teddy Roosevelt's autobiography that says, do what you can where you are with what you have. And just put a little bit in and then just let it mix in. When we're in communities, there are always people who, who are in trouble or need help or whatever. And so just do what you can. A little bite of joy. A little bite of joy. For some, it's just that personal touch. Blip, 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 blip. See how much icing is on that, Shayla? It's like, this is not a diet food. When only a baked superhero will do. So you don't want it to just be a cake. You no. want it to be You want it to be a cake that connects with the person yeah. getting it. Yeah. So that they feel this cake was for me. Yeah. This was for me. Yeah, because it's it's from one of their loved ones. It's an expression of love from the person who who reached out to me. Yeah. That's <laughs> perfect. <laughs> that is just perfect. TH lined up with and that middle. It looks like we have a happy birthday. It's a hug baked in an oven. <laughs> good. Shayla Reeves, WCCO 4 News. Sweetest cake and the sweetest voice. Just love hearing her. That cake was given to Sandy Collins of Blaine as she celebrated her 75th birthday. You can see her with her grandkids right there. Allison says she actually prefers not to meet the recipients because she says it's about the recipient's relationship to the person requesting their cake. If you'd like to connect with Allison for a cake of love, visit our website and we'll link you to her Facebook page.